Hi, welcome to my channel, The Magic of Math. Today, my lesson is on factoring using a table. So today we're gonna to factor polynomials in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. And this is the second video in my playlist that is dealing with factoring. And before I showed you how to do it by factoring by what we call grouping, and there were six steps involved in that. So if you're interested in seeing something other than a table, that would be a great place to start. Our question for today is, what is the relationship between the cells of a table and the trinomial to be factored? So we're gonna dig right in today because I've already discussed all the ins and outs of factoring a trinomial in my previous two videos. And today I wanna to show you connections and how you can use this graphic organizer, this table. You know, I used this um, in a previous video also with showing you how to multiply binomials and, and a binomial by a trinomial. And I wanna show you the connection here and it could help you um, master factoring a trinomial really. So the first thing I, I wanna do is I recognize from learning how to use this multiplying a binomial times a binomial that this first cell has to be equal to 2x squared. And then this bottom cell right here has to be equivalent to 15. So remember what I'm trying to do is find out what goes in these gray boxes and this will end up being the factors. So if you remember back from a previous lesson or video that this will be one binomial multiplied by the other binomial and that's what we're doing here. So the, the inverse of multiply is to factor. So we're, we're gonna factor this trinomial so that it's a binomial times a binomial and it works in this table. So the next step is I want to know a times c. The product of the coefficient here a and the constant c is 30. 2 times 15 is 30. And we know that the relationship when we're factoring a trinomial that the factors of 30 that when multiplied give you 30 and when added give you 13 make up your binomial factors. So now if I know that the sum is going to be 3 plus 10 is 13. I know that those are my X terms. Well, here's where your like terms go. So if you've watched that video of mine, you know the magic right here was my diagonal and my table was my like terms. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill those in. I know that 3X plus 10X is 13X. So now I have what we used to use to multiply my binomial times my, my binomial all figured out here. And so now it's just the puzzle. So here, I know that I have to have three times X to get three X. And we lead off in standard form, so we know this is gonna be an X. So X times three is three X. You could start wherever your mind works, that's just where mine did. Then I know three times five is 15. So this cell has to be five. And I'm almost there. So now I'm looking at this five, and to get to 10 X, I know this has to be two X and then I can check it, 2x times x is 2x squared. So it all match. It all matches together and it makes sense and it equals each other. So my answer, because now I've got to answer it, 2x plus three is one binomial factor and x plus five is the second. So here we have it fully factored, 2x plus three multiplied by x plus five, okay? Now, in this case, we didn't need to do it, but remember, before you factor, you should always check all the terms to make sure that they don't have a greatest common factor. All right, here we go. I would like you to pause this video and go ahead and set up the table and see if you can use the table to factor. Come back and hit play when you're ready to see me show you the answer. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So I'm gonna start off by putting the three X squared and the 12. We know that the first cell right here in the upper right is going to be 3x squared, and my constant 12 is going to be in the bottom right. Now I need to find the product of a times c, 3 times 12 is 36, and the factors of 36 that add up to 20 to get to 20x here are going to be 2 and 18. 2 multiplied by 18 is 36, 2 plus 18 is 20. So now I know my diagonal like terms are gonna be 2x and 18x, and I can start filling out my gray here, which is my binomial pair. So two times x is two x, two times six is 12, 
And then I have to do 6 times 3x to get to 18x, which also is 3x times x is 3x squared. So it all works. Now our answer is 3x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 6. And that is this trinomial completely factored. All right, here's another one. Now be careful. This is 3x squared, negative 7x, negative 40. So keep track of those negative signs. Go ahead and pause and come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So I'm going to start out by filling in my table with my first term and my last term. And find the product of A times C. Remember, this is positive 3 times negative 40. That's negative 120. Now I need to know what factors of negative 120, when added, give me negative 7. And that's going to be negative 15 and 8. Negative 15 times 8 is negative 120. Negative 15 add 8 is negative 7. And that's what we're looking for here. So here's my magic of my square. It's kind of like a magic square, right? My like terms. So I can start to fill it in. x times 3x is 3x squared. x times 8 is 8x. 3x times negative 5 is negative 15x. And negative 5 times 8 is negative 40. So my answer is x minus 5 multiplied by 3x plus 8. Remember, the order of these factors doesn't matter. So if you wrote 3x plus 8 multiplied by x minus 5, it'd still be fine. As well as in your table, you might have had um, these terms reversed. I always put mine in numerical order, least to greatest. So that's how this comes about. All right, here's another one for you. So now you have 4x squared plus 62x minus 32. I'm going to give you a hint. Remember, our first step to factoring is to look for a greatest common factor. Please pause, factor, come back when you're ready. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So the first thing I had to do was notice that each one of these terms had a common factor of 2. So the next thing I'm going to do right away is set up my answer so that I don't lose this 2 because the 2, that greatest common factor, has to be part of your solution. So now when I work out my factoring, I'm only factoring the trinomial now. It's gotten smaller. I'm factoring 2x squared plus 31x subtract 16 because I've already factored out the 2. So I'm going to fill in my table with the 2x squared and the negative 16. So my next step is to multiply a times c, and 2 times negative 16 is negative 32. And what factors of negative 32 when added will give me positive 31? And that's negative 1 and 32. So I'm going to fill in least to greatest right here, negative x or negative 1x and 32x. And we're ready to start filling in our gray cells. So 2x times x is 2x squared. x times negative 1 is negative x. And then 2x times 16 is 32x. And 16 times negative 1 is negative 16. So I'm ready for my binomial pair, 2x minus 1 multiplied by x plus 16. And don't forget our greatest common factor here, too, because that has to be. So this is what we call completely factored. So if you had not factored out the common factor of 2 up here, you would probably have 4x minus 2, or you could have 2x minus 32 here, and you would notice that it's not completely factored because the binomial factor would have a common factor. So we call this being completely factored. All right, so here's a real world problem. And I'm showing you here that we have a rectangular tennis court that has this trinomial as an area. And I'm telling you that the width of this tennis court is 3x minus 5, and I want you to find the length. So I'm going to challenge you to see if you can do this on your own. So I've given you the trinomial and one of the factors. And I want you to tell me what the other binomial factor is by finding the length. So go ahead and pause and come back and hit play when you're ready. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. So the first thing I'm going to do is fill out this 3x minus 5 right here. You could have put it across the top. 
but I know that this is one of my factors. So, and then I take my 21x squared and my 15 and put them where they belong in the table. Now, this is where the magic happens. 3x times 7x is 21x squared. Negative 5 times 7x is negative 35x. Negative 5 times negative 3 is positive 15. And negative 3 times 3x is negative 9x. So I just check to make sure that this third negative 35x and negative 9x have a sum of negative 44x, and they do. So the length of the tennis court is 7x minus 3. So that's how we factor using a table. I hope this has given you another method and a visual representation. So the table is a graphic organizer and a way to organize your thoughts. Kind of works like a magic square. I like it. Just keep in mind it only works for a trinomial. So if you're learning to, if you need to learn to factor by grouping, pre, please see my previous email. I hope you'll subscribe to my channel so that you receive notifications of future videos and have a great day.